So, CRT cataracts, what are they, and how do you fix them? We're going to be fixing CRTs today. So, as I said, on today's video, we'll be repairing some CRTs. What do I talk about? I didn't write a script. Today, we'll be treating something known as CRT cataracts. Now, what is CRT cataracts? So, older CRTs were constructed in a very interesting way. You had the actual CRT and the CRT protection glass. The protection glass was glued onto the CRT to prevent any glass flying at the user's face if the CRT imploded. Because, you know, flying glass at your face is bad. So over time, the adhesive bonding the protective faceplate to the CRT starts to weaken, and you start to get bubbles underneath the screen, also known as CRT cataracts. So in this video, we'll be removing the faceplate from the CRT, cleaning off the adhesive, and reapplying the faceplate, eliminating the CRT cataracts. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, we'll be starting out with this VT240 monitor. Aside from the center of the screen, we have CRT cataracts here, 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 and pretty much all around the screen's edges. So we'll start by removing any screws in the back that are holding the case to the monitor. And with the monitor face down, lifting the case off the back. I'm now putting down a towel just to make sure I don't scratch up the front bezel or the CRT itself. The next thing I'm going to want to do is discharge the CRT flyback transformer. Now to do that, I just have a piece of wire that I'm connecting between the anode on the CRT flyback and the ground of the chassis. After taking off this anode suction cup, I'm removing this brace that lines the CRT itself, attaching it to the front bezel. Now once I've removed the chassis support from the front bezel, I can free the monitor assembly from it. Next I remove the connector to the electron gun, and the connector to the yoke coils. And once I cut this small wire tie, the CRT is free. Now since I have the CRT free, I'm going to remove the packing tape that goes around both the CRT and the protection front glass. I'm also going to shine this really bright light at it, to help melt the glue. I leave it on for about 20 minutes. Alright, so next you're going to need a paint scraper and a heat gun. Okay, so, slight issue. Um, my, my, my heat gun caught fire. I decided to put it on its side instead to get some better leverage. Alright, now to scrape off some of the remaining glue from the front of the CRT, being careful not to scratch the screen. I'm making sure I'm in a well-ventilated area for this part, since I'm going to be cleaning both the screen and the CRT protection glass off with acetone. Okay, quick side note, in my opinion, this is the most difficult part of the entire process. It took me hours to get all the glue off the front of the CRT and the protection glass, and I went through so many pairs of safety gloves. By the way, you're handling acetone, please buy safety gloves. After I've removed all the glue from the CRT and the front glass, I put the front glass in the monitor's front bezel. This is for when I lay down these strips of double-sided tape. 
I don't want them to show through the screen, and I want them to stay hidden behind the plastic. After a bit of cleaning of the front glass and the CRT with a bit of Windex, the front glass is ready to be reattached to the CRT. Now it's all a matter of putting things back together. And that pretty much does it for this VT240 monitor. I think it came out great. But while I'm on the subject, here I have this ADM serial terminal from the 1970s. As you can see, it has horrible CRT cataracts. So I thought, why not fix it while I'm on the topic? Opening it up, you can see that the main board's pretty much completely made out of discrete logic. Now I'm pretty much going to be doing the same thing I did in the last repair, just with a few slight modifications to the process. This time I won't be using a heat lamp. I didn't really find it to be all that effective last time around. And I'll also be starting with the CRT on its side. The process seemed to go by a lot quicker that way. And just like that, the screen looks as good as new. The terminal itself doesn't power up, however, but that's a repair video for another time. And that pretty much wraps up the CRT Cataracts repair video. If I had to make any changes to the process, it would be to apply some clear packaging tape around the CRT and the protection glass to prevent any dust from getting in between the two. Till next time.